Hello, friends and fellow adventurers. All right, at the end of last time, we got ourselves a second well, uh, which was quite nice. Now, what that made me kind of question, and uh, I guess the, the thing is, is it allowed us to do a second, um, or uh, another batch of trees, so we could plant more trees, which is kind of cool. That got me thinking, <laughs> as it would, uh, just about in general how I want to approach things here. Um, I don't know how many wells you can have. I don't know how many trees that allows you. I'm not sure anything yet about the limitations of all that, but it got me thinking about how I want to do uh, some of the quests and stuff. So I was barreling ahead on a few of the quests, but in a way it kind of slowed me down a bit because it made me think more about, okay, maybe I should you know, do this or do that. I think what I'm going to do is plant a couple more trees on the, um, on the beach here. I'm going to try and plant maybe a, another coconut, another banana tree. And then uh, we'll go and see what uh, is going over on Kalis, because we have a few things to complete there. Now, I accidentally built the backpack um, while I was in the middle of crafting all of my cotton. So I've got to wait a little bit yet. Uh, so we'll see about that. Let's plant a... Yeah, we'll do a coconut tree here. Okay, now how many... Uh, let's see banana tree here so 34 to 36 okay so I got a couple more I think I will plant a couple more my guess is that these are gonna be like kind of lucrative to plant well and it's gonna look nice that's actually one of my main criteria because it gets me thinking this is gonna look good um, let's get our hoe out again let's build one more banana there we are Oh, no, we're... Okay, we have to build more wells to build more trees. So I don't know what the cap is going to be. If it's going to be like 50 trees or something, like we're going to just find ourselves in this sort of situation where enough is enough, like we've got too many. <laughs> and we also rebuilt the, the chicky pen. My guess is I'm going to have to go back to the island where I saw the chicks and like... Mm. I have to feed the animals first. Yeah, my, I'm thinking that might be the case. So I've probably got to go back and give those chickies some corn now. I kind of, again, broke the the chain of things. If I had to guess, that would be my what I'm thinking. Let's get down here and help on the boat. It is interesting, like the ability to um, sort of, you know, uh, break some of these the quests and uh, do things in weird orders and stuff. Now it was here, wasn't it? Let me see. Uh, okay, Let's see if we can jump on shore. We can. Let's go see if we can see the chickies. Uh, here they are. Now I'm kind of curious. Will this now? Yeah, this chickies can come with me. And this one. <laughs> okay. Was this one not going to come with me? Oh yeah, you're coming with me. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll feed the dog. How about everybody comes with me? Come on. Now, I don't know what exactly I have to do here. Is that... Oh, no, that's a white speck. That's not the chicky. Um, let's see. Is there a circle? Let's see. It just shows a heart. Okay. I, I don't know if I need to, like... You know, we need to do more. How do I coax them to come to my island? They, I don't know, they seem happy. So I'm, I'll just leave, I guess. I'm wondering if at some point they kind of go, oh yeah, we're good. We want to come over to your island. Um, I'm just going to go to my home island because I just really want to see what if there is any kind of connection between the two things. I feel like I just heard a chirp. <laughs> I think I'm just hoping I heard a chirp. They're not following. They're, uh, they they didn't take their own boat? No. Okay, I'm what I'm wondering then is if I'm going to need to visit them regularly for them to finally come with me. I don't know. Or maybe that's not chickies that I can even bring home. That's another possibility. Um. Wow. It's interesting. All these things. I, I don't know if they come in during the day or what. I feel like when we woke up this morning, there wasn't quite so much stuff here. 
Okay, those trees are, yeah, they're growing. I suppose I could run down there with water and deal with them, but no, I'm not going to do that. All right, let's let's get the map going. So, uh, yeah, I want to see what these next two islands are, but I think we'll go back to Kalis and we'll get some of the things we need. Part of the reason I want to get some cash so that I could buy some more stuff. We've got, uh, we've got a kind of complicated pile of things we need to do here, and we're already almost, the day is blowing by. So I think we'll head out this way first. We can go to the market. Oh, the backpack. Okay, let's... Oh, wow, that sand really breaks the fall. Thank goodness. Hey, how's it going? Thanks, Koa. Then I'll be able to keep up with my food deliveries. You're welcome, Bram. I'm sorry that Mayo messed it up so much. If you have any problems with her, just let me know. We give him the backpack. Please don't forget anything. Okay. How was it with the pirate? Great, he loved it. I knew it. Will they come over? I don't think so. No? Why? They are pirates. They follow their own rules. What a terrible clientele. I don't have any future with this kind of customer. Never mind. Take this in return for the trip. 180 coins. Not bad. Ko, I've got a mission for you. Here we go. I've prepared a recipe to make marshmallows, but I gotta try. I want to try it before offering it for sale. Sure, I can cook them at my house, but someone will have to try them. You can give them to Bram and see what he thinks. Alright, he has a sweet tooth. Okay. Look for Bram so they can try... The marshmallow recipe. So I've got to first, I think I'm going to make the marshmallows. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, now do, can I just make them here? Um, I'm going to need a few things. I need some sugar and some jelly. Oh, wow. Okay, this one I feel like I'm, is more involved. <laughs> uh, the sugar I've seen for sale. I don't know that I even know how to make that yet. I don't remember. That's interesting. So now we'll head over to the fix-it shop, I think, and see if we can't buy supplies. Might be too getting late. Um, I don't remember if they're up until 15 or 1700. So we'll find out though. Hopefully it's 1700. Oh, we gotta go farther to the left. I think I'm probably cutting a wide as I go through here when I could be going a little bit sharper. Shave off five minutes. There we are. All right, now... Oh, they're closed. No, they're open! I thought they were closed. Oh, that's it's such a relief when you see that. You're like, we did it. We made it. Okay. <laughs> I have everything. I'll prepare the mold with the clay. I'll melt the metal, and the necklace will be fixed in the blink of an eye. Who taught you to work in here? I'm a blacksmith's daughter. My parents taught me everything. Are they strong and orange like you? No, they're my parents. I inherited this forge from them. Oh, I see. What are your parents like? I don't have any. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. I was raised by my yaya. Is having parents very important? Um, the necklace is ready. Already? I did it while we were speaking, but I didn't see you move. I'm very fast. Excellent. So we gotta go give the necklace to Sammy. Uh, how's that task going, little one? Okay, so here, what are we at now? So we got to bring the necklace. All right, I need the cloth stuff. So I need uh, three screws and two metal tubes. Three screws and two metal tubes. Okay, let's buy these things. Um, one, two, three, and then two metal tubes. Okay, that didn't break the bank. That that could have been worse. Let's confirm. I, I it's he is unfortunately he's in the way. <laughs> I think that's good. Okay, so let's go up the hill and return this. This is good. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to see the results of our handiwork. We're going to have to come back out here because I don't think we have time. I don't think I can do it quick enough. We'll see. Straight through. I have the necklace now. Akaji is as good a blacksmith as her parents were. Speaking of that, what do you know about Haku? I guess you have to. You have to, had to ask at some point. Your grandma was, well, very special to me. She was my captain as well. Captain of the Mara Navy. Actually, the Navy's almost disappeared. It stopped being useful a long time ago. Before, however, the Navy was a very magnificent institution. We belonged to a fleet of four sailors. We explored, helped others, and subdued the pirates. Once in a while, we went through bad times. She lost this necklace when she saved me. Our ship got shipwrecked. Jet, 
The pilot of our crew crashed into something he shouldn't have. Haku was worried because he, she couldn't see me and jumped into the water. Apparently, I was unconscious when she rescued me. Why did she never talk about her life in the Navy? I guess she wanted to protect you. You're still very young. That's not true. You're also all obsessed with me being too young. You were right. If you're Haku's girl, you have a mission to fulfill. You have proven that you were kind and honest like your grandma. Brave and daring as well. She wrote to me some years ago. She told me a girl would be visiting at some point. And that girl is you. However, you'll have to train hard. Maybe in the future I could give you... I don't want anything. I like traveling, the warm sand and eating. Nothing else. Koa, I know it's not easy. But listen to me. No, no. You are like Yaya, all day long telling me what to do and that I have to be a good girl. Calm down, child. Don't call me child. I'm not a child. I'm a keto, a human, a pirate, but I'm not a child. Okay, whatever you want. I'm leaving. I have stuff to do. We give her the necklace and we leave. <laughs> Behave with everyone in the island or else. Okay, it's 1625. Oh, I think we can actually... We go straight down the mountain. And we don't take fall damage. Thank goodness we don't take fall damage. We can get back and we can tell her. I love to work in the forge, but I wish I didn't get as, so many stains. Oh, okay, so she's good now. Something fascinating will happen soon. Oh, isn't that an interesting one? That's a nice one. I like that. Something will happen soon. Okay, so we need to talk to Mayo and Onzo. Wow, and Caleb. All right, let's do it. Let's head into town. Boy, oh boy. They're going to pile up quick, aren't they? Let's see here. Yeah, that's a nice path. It's easier than running through the bush. Excuse me, lady. Excuse me. Oh, hello. People leaving their trash out. Well, that's an interesting shortcut. I like that one. Let's go see Anzo. Ko, I have a problem. No, what's going on? My headphones are broken. I can't listen to music anymore. I could take them to Akaji to, so she can repair them. Akaji? I have nothing about her written down. She must be a young woman. Yeah, she's my friend. She's really nice. All right, let's see if, see if she can solve this. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't think we can do that today. I don't recall the hours, but I feel like we probably can't. Koa, do you want to be a pirate? Eh, I don't think so. Maybe that's because you wouldn't dare. It's more like that. I don't feel like it. I'm sure you can't go to the mysterious island and touch the tree at the top of it. What for? That way you'll earn my respect, and nothing else? Well, I can give you a couple of fajitas and a fat kiss. Deal, but no kisses. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go and, uh, yeah. We gotta go do something. Interesting. Let's go give Caleb... Hey, dog. Let's go give Caleb, uh... I guess I should feed the, the pooch. There we go. You're a good doggo. Let's go give Caleb the stuff. Hey buddy, how's the oven doing? Better. With those materials I will fix in the blink of an eye. Will you be able to bring it back to Taka? I'm sure he is desperate. Of course. Okay, we can we can bring that back now. Please be quick. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me pick up this garbage that people are leaving in predictable spots because people are terrible. Ah, we got two apple peels. Nice. Life is good. Um, Caleb has fixed your oven. Thank you very much, kid. You're welcome. It is really a strange yeah. oven. It's a Kamado, a special type of oven. allows us to cook new, different recipes. Wow, I'd love to have one. Well then, <laughs> keep it. Really? And I will be able to cook dishes like yours? With perseverance and dedication, perhaps every great chef must have quality tools. I'll be an awesome chef. You'll see. Wow, we got an oven. All right. Um, cool. Let's head back over this way then. We'll see if Caleb has anything else to say to us. And then we need to go and check out that point uh, nope. <laughs> that she was referring to. Mayo. Uh, Caleb, do you have a favorite meal? Yes. What? Paella. I don't know what that is. It's a prepared rice and stuff. What kind of stuff? Tomato. Bell pepper. 
rice. Do you want me to cook some for you? Okay. Yes. I think uh, some carrots would go well with it too. And pineapple. I don't know. Okay. Prepare Caleb's favorite dish with our special touch. All right. Let's, uh... Oh. Ooh. Where did Napopo go? Maybe she went to the temple to get fuel. Okay. Oh boy, I could have jumped the other way. Let's go find Napopo. So Napopo, we know where Napopo is now because we've been up here. Interesting that uh, Napopo took off though. Although we often do see them up there. Hmm. We'll head up this way, I think. Actually, no, we'll go down this way. We might see something different. Something new. Let's see. So I, I think the idea of one of the... On the island, we might have to climb to the top of the tree. I think is what was being implied. Which will be kind of neat. Uh, is there any other goodies here? Can't harvest this flowers. I'm just going to get some fuel. <laughs> Not casual, I can't. Oh, hey, Napopo. What's going on, bud? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Napopo, there you are. Who's this? Blue. Blue, they call me. But that's not my spiritual name. I had a really interesting conversation with Napopo. You talked to her? Napopo told me how she found you and that you were her best friend. Wow, how do you know my name? What did you say? Oh, yes, I will tell her. You should pay tribute to the Fountains of Mala, the spiritual sap. You mean the founders of Fountains of Fuel? It's not just fuel. Mala is life. Not to mention, I haven't been very respectful. I just took it without giving anything in exchange. You were doing it very well. Not that good. You feel miserable. It's normal. We all need to feel angry sometimes. We need to be angry. You can't carry the weight of the ocean on your shoulders. How? Now go play, pay tribute to the fountain. Bring it your fruits and vegetables. Your best lettuces. Okay, make an offering. I don't really know why I'm here. Yaya always told me these stories about the guardians of, guardians of my... Uh, Mara, Mara built this, Mara that, Mara is the only sea, it's not that important. Although I thought the same about the fountains, and they don't seem to be important for the people here. Ma the Mala emits a special energy. Sami insisted too much with all that talk of responsibility. She talks like my Yaya, maybe I should listen to her. Everybody here seems to be in need of help. They should help each other and leave me alone. I don't know why I bothered leaving my island. Oh, that's not good. What, what's that? I don't think there's anything there. It's just a hole. It's always, it'll, it's always been there. All right, let's talk to Blue. Talk to Blue to find out what Napopo says. Fink. Hello, are you lost? No, not at all. What a funny girl. Are you from here? Yes, more or less. That's good. Where are your parents? They're not around. Oh, no. Could you deliver a message to your chaperone or adult responsible? I guess so. I'm Fink Shen. I come from a far, far away planet called Deva. We are looking for a beautiful place in Mara to acquire his property. If your dad or chaperone has a tiny house or field, we would be interested in buying it. Well, I have an island. You? How? It's tiny, but I like it. Could you give me the address? I don't know if that's a good idea. How much do you want for it? Nothing. It's my island. But we have a lot of money. Do whatever you want without money, like buy a mansion with a swimming pool. I'm not interested. Nobody rejects the Elots. One way or another, we will find your island. I don't think so. No inhabitant on this planet is of a high value. You only have your tiny boats and tiny houses. I don't know what the Baron expects to get from these miserable waters. We should burn the whole planet down. Be careful what you say or I will tell Sammy. Is that a threat? Ha! I'm looking forward to leaving this place for good. We'll meet again, brat. What an unpleasant person. I should tell Sammy, but I will bring her an afternoon snack so she'll forgive me. Bring Sammy an afternoon snack and talk to her about the Elliot woman. So we need to bring her tea and a croissant. Wow, that was weird. Blue, I think this Napopo wants something from me. Hmm, yes, let's see. Okay, she says that on your island there's a passage leading to a cave. Maybe you could take advantage of it. How? It's inside the mountain. You will have to build a mine. I don't think it will be easy. Ah. Yeah, that's a really good idea. All right, let's ask her for help. Okay, we're going to ask Akaji about building a mine. Mm. Oh, we got to bring... Koa, could you bring me something, please? I'd like to have some paper. Just a sheet will be enough. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> wow, that was a whole pile of, uh, that was a giant, oh, that's you I was talking to. 
How could this happen? Our stations are perfect. I wasn't sure who I was talking to there. Uh, I thought it was somebody that just like interjected or kind of stuck their nose in on the business. That was interesting. So we're at uh, 11 o'clock. Or sorry, 9 o'clock. We should probably head back this way. Oh, I, let's go by the store because I got to check. What do I have? Okay, we did some recycling. That's good. All right, Onzo's probably waiting. Okay, now let's take a look here. There's so many things that, that seem to be going on. Uh, we need to bring some paper and we need to make this pineapple koa style paella. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see here uh, what the... Our, what is our recipe? Oh. oh, we got lots of inventory. We have a box of chocolates now. Interesting. Oh. Okay, I'm going to buy a couple cotton because I feel like I'm going to need them. Uh, I could have just bought fabric, I suppose, but that, you know, that seems too easy. Okay, let's see what you got here. Hmm. Ah, that's right. This is where sugar was. Now, I'm going to see if I can sell some stuff. Let's see what we have. Um, what I was curious about is what are the... Uh, well, the bananas don't sell for like anything. Now they do coconuts. Okay, interesting. I would have thought those would have sold for a ton. Lemon sell for six. Uh, cherries are still selling for like 10 each. Uh, sell a couple of corn. And I'll sell a couple of oranges. So we got 300 bucks for all of that. That's not bad. Alright. That puts us in a good place for when we have to go and buy a bunch of other stuff. We got a lot of uh, exposition this episode. There was a lot of things happening. And we've got, uh, I think we're going to have to finish some errands still on this island then. Um, maybe we'll go check out that other that other little island and touch the top while we're waiting ne early next time. All right, we will see you then. Till next time. Bye-bye.